Welcome back. You're live with Expresso as we prep for Africa Day. And we just found out a moment ago on the show all about the fashion extravaganza, is the only way to describe it, that is being hosted by African Fashion International tomorrow evening in celebration of Africa Day and the strides we've made within the fashion industry. And we are being joined right now, proudly so, via video call by one of the visionary designers who has put contemporary South African fashion on the global map, David Klale, as he has been selected to represent South Africa in this event. Please give him a warm espresso welcome. And this applause, Mr. Klale. Can I just take a moment, before we throw it forward, let's throw it back. Can I say that Zozi was a scene stealer. What an amazing job you did for, for Miss Universe. You must have been so proud, brother. Um. No, Zozi actually was dressed by BG. Many people, they, they, they mistaken it that I made the dress. No, all I, I was doing, celebrating Zozi's work. And I think BG has done like an amazing, amazing job. And uh, it made me feel proud to be African and South African. And um, because it just showcased the beauty of how South Africa is, also confession has evolved. Yeah, man, a able to knock around with the biggest on any stage. And you have played a major role in that, my friend. And I think that comes to bear in the fact that you have been selected as the official representative for Southern Africa, uh, a no-brainer for us. Um, taking into consideration how you have propelled South African fashion within the global industry. And I think this, from all of our chats we've had over the years, it's been a mission of yours. What have you done now to depict the essence of this region on the catwalk? What goes through your mind when you've got it? Because it's a lot of pressure. How do you kind of approach that? What was your thinking in this case? I mean, um, for us as a brand, David Lella, it's, it's very important to actually showcase how we have evolved over the years, how um, our pattern engineering, how our understanding of of our prints, our fabrications, and also how our silhouettes can actually translate into global stage. Because, um, you know, as a brand, you can you can easily be boxed in a particular silhouette in a particular fabrication. But over the years, over the past 18 years, being here on a full-time basis, all we're doing is to say, here we are as South Africans, but um, being part of the global uh, market, what we are doing is to say we have evolved. It's not only about the big five. The big five is a beautiful story. Um, but as South Africans or as Africans, we have, um, we have much more heritage. We have much more traditions. And also we have this beautiful um, uh, global influence that we actually embrace on a daily basis. So this collection is purely based on um, the evolution of the brand David Lally over the past 18 years. On that note, you've been able to, in a sense, expand or almost rebrand your name and brand during lockdown. You've opened four new storefronts since the onset of the pandemic. And I would imagine, like so many creatives, you've used this opportunity to do some introspection, to study the local market and help that to evolve. What has this last year been like for you, considering the craziness that we've had to endure? Sure. The, the past year has been like really like a, quite a challenge for us, as a, me personally, and also as a brand. Um, number one, it was a time to, to reflect, to reset and to reboot. And, um, and what it really, really helped us to do is to look within as a brand, what is it that we have and what we can offer to, the, to our customers. And um, getting into retail or opening up uh, these retail spaces, it was one thing that our kind of like, um, we are okay. We, are, we we have a choice to just like shut down, and we have a choice to like let our people go. But you know, also this was fused within my spiritual journey to say I had to trust God of you know what He's able to do because we can we can easily shut down and we had nothing. But we had to look within what we can do, what we can create, and we said let us get into retail as a brand, David Lally, and and lo and behold. Um, within six months, we were able to open our four stores, one in Merozach, Menden, Ribaudville, and also in Cape Town. And also, this is just purely taking a, a leap of faith. And I know this for sure. If you take the first step, 
and you do know what life can actually give you. It's been nothing but amazing because the one store led to another and it's always about opportunity. And I, I never, the one thing that I've learned is, is to say, never say no to an opportunity that, um, that actually presents itself at a particular moment. So my, 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 my whole thinking around uh, opening these four stores during the pandemic is to say we are proudly made in South Africa and our customers are in South Africa and we had to like literally transform our business from uh, focusing on made to order but to much more retail much more um, ready to wear and if you look at our business model right now it has changed because in the past we would basically uh, create these amazing collections, showcase them all over the world, um, in New York, in Paris, uh, locally in the continent, and and hope that a buyer or even a customer would would, would actually buy into the collection. But now we have a we, we create these collections, we distribute them within our own flagship stores, which is absolutely fantastic because it's no longer just shooting in the air. We know exactly where our customers are. We know exactly where our our our, our distribution points and, and channels are, and also amplifying on our our online um, platform where people can actually now buy David Clally online. Buddy, and the, the South African market thanks you for it, my friend. You are still blazing a trail. We are even more proud of you now than we ever have been. And as much as I know retail is a focus, we still love to see you showing your stuff. And you're going to be doing that tomorrow. So all the best of luck for the AFI extravaganza. So great to connect with you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me this morning. David's going to be down in Cape Town next week. He will be on the show, but the African Fashion International Fashion Show is going to be happening tomorrow. You can register for tickets to this exclusive event at africafashioninternational.com.